back again guys what's up it's your boy Joseph Bob I'm gonna be showing you I'm gonna be showing you how to do some transmail farm in Zofrac let's check up the, what's in the mailbox nothing's in the mailbox um, if you are 85 and above, above um, I would recommend any everyone to everyone to actually get your uh, hearth into the golden lotus or wherever it is if you are horde uh, because you see you get all these portals you have a chance just to hop in and hop out from every place so one quick way to actually get to Zolfrak is go to the Dalaran portal just give it a sec and go to the Dalaran portal then this is for everyone I, I believe go over to the Zol uh, not Zolfrak portal but go to the caverns of time just go to the caverns of time boop fly over there and oh my bad <laughs> rip I try to get on the stairs quick I like to do this on my druid because how fast it is ooh blink charm let's see blink charm 4000 does it drop anything good let's see uh blink tron oh nothing good all right then we'll go to the caverns of times portal which is going to send us over to Tanaris, which is where Zolfrak is right here so let's give it just flight and hopefully boop. so we're just going to fly there it should take about less than 10 minutes hopefully um let me actually change up my starfall because i have it set up to my other starfall command starfall go over here let's move that over there that's for my blast lands or my uh potion treasure finding or potion luck farming which i'll probably do a video on that uh later later today or later that uh i'll probably do it later later today so i'll, I'll be probably shooting out five more videos and that should be it for today so gadget town um, I would recommend doing this on if you have a druid it's it's gonna be easier to do this on a druid because if you are in travel form you're able to run through the whole dungeon without getting polymorphed if you are doing this on another tune like a um, a warrior or whatever and you're mounted and you you get you will get dismounted so on a druid it, it's very OP very very OP um, let's get okay where are we at we're in Zulfrak we're almost there and I do have a recent uh, it should take about probably two to three minutes to actually do this uh, per run if you are a, a druid but if you are um, not a druid it should take you about four, four to five minutes per run and the looter item value is probably about three to eight K so it's good uh, child form the thing is about being level 100 or something you basically uh, smack them in the face and give them some love so you actually get that aggro so all you do is just basically pull all of these guys um, the way I do it is I do a big uh, two big pulls that's what I do um, one uh, up to the grave to the cemetery and the other one um, over near the entrance so you just keep on just like aggro these guys it shouldn't take that long and the pieces that you're trying to get is a uh, blood forge uh tyrant or a uh, jade the jade uh the those pieces could go up from about five to ten k gold a piece it's trying to it's a loot this is a looted item value farm it is a potential amount of gold that you could get per hour um i like to do the per hour but if you're lucky with the rng the rngs that you actually could get probably like jade pieces and Blood four pieces and tyrant pieces all in one run, but it's all about RNG. And it's this this the thing about this dungeon, you're able to do ten resets per hour. And if you're on a druid, you could probably do probably ten resets in probably like twenty minutes, twenty thirty minutes, which is not that part. Um, I don't think these bugs actually drop anything, but uh, don't quote me on that. You just get these guys, boom, boom, boom. And you see a bunch of these groups of guys right behind you, and you loot the. I would preferably loot these graves, loot these graves, loot these graves. Oh, uh, uh, did my add-on? Okay, one sec. I have to reload my uh, UI because 
it doesn't show up my uh, loot appraiser. And I'll, I'll show you what the loot appraiser shows you. Yeah, I've been shooting out probably, I shoot out, I shot out like about three to four videos today and the load screens take forever because I'm, um, so many add-ons and stuff. I should actually dumb down my add-ons, which I'm a, I'm a little bit of a stubborn butt, but I use a lot of add-ons just to see how much the prices are on the auction house without me being there. Let's actually see, okay, loot appraiser, boop, 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 let's see. Okay, there it goes. Loot appraiser is open. Let me move the loot appraiser window over here. It's by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Profits TV, Mr. Ray Gold or Mr. Wild Profits. If you guys do not know who he is, just go check him out. I'll post a link on it. And let's see, you see how I got polymorphed with when I was not in travel form? Imagine do, that happens to you when you're on your mount all the time. So let's see what we get here. Uh, pop my Starfall or AoE. And let's see, we got a thousand gold piece, which is actually pretty nice for the first run. Uh, loot item value, but oh look at that! Already bumped it to 2,400. Let's see if I can. We actually loot up more. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Um, and this is a pretty good mage weave farm. I I done this for a lot of mage weave. Mage, mage weave sells for about like think 20 silver, 20 to uh 15 15 to 20 silver, um and for piece. And if I sell a stack, probably that's gonna be like one gold or so. One or two gold that's still that's still manageable for from gold because a lot of people are still leveling up the professions the old way um i do my professions the new way the wad way so i leveled up my pro um my tailoring from one to seven hundred in like less than two days which is pretty fast but it takes a little bit of gold or it takes a little bit of farming to actually find these items uh just get that that was the big that was a big first pull so this is gonna be the second pull just gather these guys up and let's see how much uh looted item value and each each of these uh trash could still get you a potential gold market a potential gold uh translog so it's all about rngs hopefully the rng is actually good with you when you do these runs um next i'll be I'll, next video i'll probably be doing ak20 that one's a little bit difficult not not difficult but it's a little bit different because if you kill any of the bosses in there, you are locked for the week. So uh, there's a strategy which you could just get in there and get out. You don't you don't need to be a specific class to do any of these types of farms or transmog. It could be uh, the lowest. I, uh, some of the transmog spots are the lowest I've seen is probably level 20 to level 30. And let's see, I just gather them up and I pop my starfall right before they get in here. So pop, pop, pop. And let's see what's my looted item value after this run. Okay, this run, uh, 4,500. Let's see, anything good? So look at within like two minutes, right there. Two minutes, within two or three minutes. Um, I got about a looted item value, about 4,500 gold. Uh, the, some of these pieces can actually sell, some of these pieces don't. Uh, it just matters on the price range. Like this uh, cons chest piece, it says it goes for about 1500 gold. Um, 1500 gold global market value, but it really depends on what your realm is. And I'll give you the little reset instance macro. Um, come on, hurry up, go faster. So that, that was just one run. And that's one way to make, uh, that's one way I make gold. Is doing transmog get in here load up and then reset instance and boom instead of me pressing this right click and reset instance I have a macro which is a script reset instance uh, parentheses and a semicolon so that's one way to make gold for 300 for 500 gold in three minutes and hopefully get lucky to get some tyrant pieces or jade pieces or blood four pieces and those could sell for quite a bit of coin all right guys have a nice day and if you like the video please leave a comment or if you have any suggestions on making me video uh, any videos or uh, new ways to make gold that you have found out are pretty good just let me know and have a, have a nice day